Welcome to this Zentangle Quickie. My name is Heather Hartwick Ladden. I'm a certified Zentangle teacher. And today we're going to take a look at the tangle Scalide from CZT Barbara Duell Johnson. This is a neat border tangle. Starts off with you know a couple a couple rails, so however wide you want to have this. And I'm going to dare say, if you take a look at the For More Inspiration link, you will see you don't necessarily need the other line. We're going to do it because it's uh, it's part of the step out. But if you look at Barbara's um, samples, you'll see that you don't necessarily. So it gives you some ideas. All right. Then, uh, similar, we'll say, to, well, sort of similar to Crescent Moon. So we're just going to put some little C-shaped curve lines here on the bottom. Of course, however far up you want to go, and we'll fill those in. Debating on if I should have made him taller. <laughs> well, we'll we'll see. Although this one is kind of neat because any like any of the components, well, you know, like a lot of tangles, you, you okay, all tangles, I mean, you get to decide how high, how tall, how far apart, all of that kind of stuff, and it makes it fun. It makes it makes them all different. Okay, then, you know, pick two to pair to start, and we're gonna put a nice giant curve line over two of them like so and then alternate so wherever you so we have it here so I'm gonna come from here try to make it around the same height and <laughs> and to not get in confused with what's already there and this one will go over all of that okay so that looks neat. Then it's, it's kind of essentially decorating. So here's what Barbara has. So, uh, let's see. So here, we're, we're, we'll call that, uh, I don't know what we want to call that. Oh, here, the external. So here's your big curve line, right? In there, she puts a dot. So we can do that easy. Nice big orb. Like so. And then the other ones, just some straight lines. Let's see if I can get this. There we go. Let's get this. Yeah. And I like starting on this line and coming into the, the what's already filled in because then I don't have to be careful. <laughs> I'm totally going over and into. But you don't know versus the other direction where I know darn well I'm going to be going off the side. That's it. That is it. Now what I'd like to do, and I did this on, on my version of uh, the step out, is... I, because <clears throat> there's probably lots of ways that you could shade this. But I thought, well, to incorporate this line in the whole thing, let's just shade it there. Because this, you don't really need to shade, obviously, because it's filled in dark. And we can make as much gradient here. Yes, as we want. I'm going to make that darker on the edge. And like I said, take a look at the For More Inspiration link uh, because sh she uses it as a border, uh, like on a Zendala, like in the round or square, where else? Yeah. And, you know, so it's essentially just this part, which looks fine, but it is kind of nice with this, with this other line here. We get it a little darker on that edge, we'll get a little bit more. Yeah, curve. Mm hmm. Just neat. Really, really neat. Love it. Love it, love it. 
it's just it's nice it you know it it's delicate at the same time it's high contrast so it's just it's just really really neat uh you could if you want to i'm not going to because i shaded this overall but you i mean you could put some shading in in you know each of those if it was if it was a little bit bigger um even where there's a line sometimes just putting uh, some graphite on say that outer uh creates a neat effect so but i like this i'm gonna keep it all right this is a really quick quickie <laughs> uh if you enjoyed it and i hope you did uh, please click the like button and if you liked it enough to see more would love to have you be a subscriber uh, on the channel uh, in the I already mentioned the description section for links to step outs so you'll find those there also ways to connect with me if you wish um, I have a link to my website uh, Facebook page and our amazing Facebook uh, group for Tangle Addicts uh, it's fantastic if you want uh, just a nice place to, you know, share your work and, and talk Zentangle. Uh, that's what we do. Um, let's see what else. There are four questions I want to let you know th that you have to answer in order to gain entry. I want you to know that. Um, there was something else I was going to mention completely outside of what I normally mention. Uh, but do check out my, you know, website for classes. Facebook, I always post them. There are, there are other places that I post classes and I do have them listed on the classes link on my website so you can check that out ah I remember what it was if you um, I haven't gotten this quite well really much at all done on my website it, someday when I have the <laughs> when I find the time uh, or the money to because to, uh, to, I have a couple web designers I, I keep talking to but uh, we'll see someday um, I have playlists on the YouTube homepage. So if you click on my name or my fa or my picture there, that'll take you to the home. I got, I'm just going to call it the homepage of the YouTube channel and then click on playlists. And so, uh, especially with, uh, you know, Halloween coming up, I have a spooky, uh, tangles playlist. Uh, I have a cosmic one, whimsical, uh, besides, you know, the, the normal ish kind of ones like flowery, leafy, grid patterns, um, high contrast, things like that. So I try to make play playlists. I, I need to, uh, probably go back cause I, I'll create them and then I need to go backwards and, and see if anything that I've already done fits in. So someday all of that will be updated. Feel free to, to, you know, uh, leave, uh, leave suggestions cause I do check the comments and, um, you know, if you're like, Hey, this one should be on this playlist, let me know. All right. Uh, in that tangles, uh, comments, I should say, because <laughs> uh, yeah, that just makes it easier. All right. So I think that's it. And I wish, uh, I want to thank you again for watching and wish you happy tangling.